Hey everybody. So in this video, we're going to look at how to create a light mode and a dark mode within your reports. You can also use this uh, method to create a colorblind mode in your report as well. So let's look at, first of all, how it works and then how it's done. So first of all, how does it work? As you can see on this report page, we have light mode and dark mode on a slicer. Currently, I've got light mode selected. If I were to click on dark mode, you will then see that the report is a lot darker than it was before because it's now a dark mode. How's that done? Well, first of all, we have to create a slicer, which we can do using a, um, a disconnected table. And it's really easy to do. So I've already created my disconnected table, but these are the steps that you'd have to follow to create that table. So first of all, I'm going to go to home and then I'm going to go to enter data right here. And once I've done that, we have this create table window that pops up and I'm going to create this. I'm going to call it mode first column and then I'm going to go light contact light mode and then dark mode. I also want to create a second column which allows me to assign an order, which is more important when we have multiple columns rather than just two, but it's still a decent way of being able to sort the mode columns. And I'm going to call this um, mode selection. Um, so we have created our table now, a mode column, an order column, and we've named the table mode selection. I would then click on load and it would load this table into our fields pane here on the right hand side. I'm going to click cancel because I've already created it, but you would just click on load. So once you click on load, you have here a table that you're going to use via disconnected table. So as you can see here, I've clicked on my slicer and it highlights this, which is the disconnected table that we just created. Now what we need to do is we need to create some uh, measures which will allow us to um, actually change the colors because without the measures, you're going to click on it, but of course nothing's going to happen. You have to assign an action to each of those options, dark mode and light mode. The measures are really straightforward. You have to create a couple of them, not many. Basically for every item that you want to change, you have to create a measure. So for example, on the visualizations that you can see here, I have a measure for the border, which you don't need. That's my personal choice. The background, which you also don't need, depending on how you want to um, display your data. And you need to have one for the text of the everything inside the visualization. So for example, here, the X axis, the data labels and the title. So in this visualization, I have basically said that the text, the data labels and the title are all controlled by the same measure. Otherwise it might be too much. Yeah. But again, personal choice. So let's start with the background. Yeah. So if you wanted the background to be exactly the same as the background of your page, then you wouldn't have to do this part. You just have to create one for the background of the page. But for me, it makes sense to actually have a background for the visualization. So how do we do it? So I have here my format DAX and let's select one. So the background of my visualization is controlled by this measure and it's really straightforward. They are all straightforward. It's simply saying that if the selected value of this slicer, so the disconnected table is light mode. So if the selected value is light mode, then give me this hex code, which is just white. And if it's not light mode, give me this hex code, which is the hex code you can see here, kind of like a very dark gray, which I prefer to black. Um, and that's it. Dude, that's really all we're saying with this measure. So if it's light mode, if the selected value of my disconnected table, which is this slicer, is light mode, then give me white. If not, then give me this very dark gray. And you can see how it works now. So now I've selected light mode 
and my background is white. Makes sense, right? The second thing I've done, I've, I've created another DAX measure and it's exactly the same as you can see. The only difference here is that of course in light mode, I want my text to be not light, but dark. Otherwise it'd be very difficult to read. So now when the selected value of the same, always reference in the same table, which is our disconnected table, if the selected value of our disconnected table is light mode, now give me this darker color. So black essentially, if not, so if it's then light mode, um, exactly, if it's light mode, give me this dark color. If it's dark mode, then give me this kind of off white color. Of course, choose whatever colors you want. This is just what I went for, for the purposes of this video. So that's two elements we'll control now. We've got the, the background color of the visualization plus the, all the text. So as I said before, this measure is controlling the data labels and it's controlling my X axis and it's controlling my title. Just to how would that, see how that is assigned. We go to my formatting of this visualization. And I'm going to go, for example, to the data labels. And as you can see here, it's controlled by formula. And here, click on field value and then select the field, which is the text, which we just saw. Same thing. And you can see I've done the same thing for my x axis. Control it based on that field. And that's it. Because I personally have chosen to have a border, I also have something for the border. And you can click here, you can see that the border is controlled something called by background invert. Why background invert? Because the colors are kind of slightly inverted, just kind of like the text really. I've gone here. If the selected value of the disconnected table is light mode, then give me this color, else give me this color. And actually what I could have done very easily is instead of having a back a color or a measure, which controls the border and another one that controls the text, I could have just said, we could have used the same one. So now, for example, if I just change this and say for the border, I want to use not this background invert, but I want to use instead text. There you have it. The reason I didn't do that is because I thought that this border was a little bit too white and it kind of, I don't like it when it distracts from the um, the visualization like that. I like, I don't like this really hard color on my border. But again, this is just my personal preference. It really depends on what you want to show. So that really is how it's done. You have a measure for each color element that you want to control. I haven't used a measure to control my actual data colors personally because, well, I like this color that I'm using here. And I think it also works pretty well, well with a dark or a light mode. So that really depends on what you want to have. You can absolutely have an another measure which controls the data colors. I chose not to because I like this color and I think it works well with both a dark and a light mode. Yeah. So the one thing I don't like about this method, I have to be very honest here, is that in Power BI, we don't currently have the option to have a measure driven background color to the page. It's not possible. As you can see here, the only thing you can do is change the color based on an actual selection. So how am I doing it? It's a cheat, which I don't like, but to be fair, it does work. What I've done here is I've simply created a rectangle which covers the entire page. I've switched off the fill. I've switched off the outline. Um, the only thing that should be switched on really is going to be here, the background. And the background of course is driven by a, a measure and that's called background. And it's this one at the top. So again, if it's selected light mode and our disconnected table, then give me this color. If it's selected dark mode, give me this color. An important thing when, if you choose to do this, you create your rectangle, you go format and you go, of course, center back. And then you then add this section, this selection here, maintain layer order, which means when you publish this report, 
if, for example, if I click here, it's great. If I click here, it's great. If I click here, also fine. But if I were to click off a visual element, if I were to just click actually on the background, in this case, the shape, it would then come over my visualizations. But if you click on this, maintain layer order, when you publish this report, doesn't matter where you click, it's actually not going to bring this forward. It's going to remain in the background. So it's not the worst workaround in the world, um, but it's not something that I particularly love. I hope that will change soon, as soon as um, the, the Power BI team add the option to dynamically change the page background based on a measure. I'll be very happy because I won't have to do this workaround anymore. But that's how it works. Also bear in mind that if you're dealing with a page with uh, a report, sorry, with multiple pages, you can simply control each page based on one slicer, if you will. So if I go to dark mode and I go to this other page here, which is a duplication of the page, you can see it's also dark mode. If I go light mode, it switches this page and it switches that page. How? Because we go and we go and uh, click on our um, sync slices and we can choose to sync the slicer across each page of the report, or which page we want to. You also don't have to show this slicer, of course. You can just say, okay, on my first page, I'm gonna select dark mode and it's gonna be dark mode throughout the entire report. Don't wanna have to change it. So if you just remove this little um, tick here, it just means that when you go to the other page, it's already dark mode, but you can't change it back to light mode. So this is something to consider that it's not something that you have to implement on every single page. Once you have it set up, it's gonna work on every visualization, regardless of what page it's on. So that's quite cool. So that's how you do it. That's how you're gonna create a light mode and a dark mode inside your reports. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can also create something which is multiple options. So, so far we've done light mode, dark mode. At the start of the video, I also said you can use it for um, uh, colorblind mode as well. So what I've done here is too much. You don't need 10 options because I've got like, if you click through, it really changes the um, the colors completely. I went too far, I was just experimenting. So this is exactly the same thing. It's a disconnected table with more options rather than you know, dark and light, we have options one through 10. And the um, the measure is slightly different because instead of using if, we're using a switch. Um, so we're saying basically, we're creating this, this var, and it's saying, dependent on what is selected, whether it's one, give me this color, two, this, three, this. So we could then say light mode, dark mode, uh, um, colorblind mode, and for colorblind mode, you then select certain colors which are good for those people who have colorblindness. 10 is too many, I recognize that. Um, I was simply to show it's not simply a dark or a light mode. You can do many different things with it depending on your preferences. So that's it. How to create a dark mode, or a light mode, or any other mode in your report to allow users to see that report however they want to see it. I hope that helped. I hope it gave you at least some ideas of what you can do in your own reports and different um, ways of experimenting. If you have any comments, if you enjoyed it, the video, let me know. If you think there's a better way, if you um, also, of course, let me know. Any questions? All in the comments. Um, of course, if you like this video, if you want to see more from me, please click on that subscribe button. It's always much appreciated. So thank you very much and uh, goodbye.